Hey gamers, it's Wintermute here from Grind This Game. Back with Surviving Mars on 535% uh, difficulty. And in the last episode, we got the uh, our first wonder built, the Mohole Mine. Which is helping a lot with uh, metals and rare metals, as well as concrete kind of indirectly, because we get waste rock from this. We're in the middle of a dust storm right now. And I got a suggestion about the whole renegade problem. Someone said just filter out renegades from all the domes. And I'm going to try that just to see if they all leave. I don't think that will work, but it's, it's worth a try. I mean, they'll go outside and they'll freeze to death, but I'm curious to see if it'll work. The renegades disallowed. This next dome actually is pretty handy, this down here. So, yeah, all three domes are disallowing renegades, so we'll see how that works. I don't think they'll actually leave, but we'll find out. I'm going to speed things up here. And in this episode, I want to try to make the uh, space elevator, which I'm going to research next after Home Collective. I wanted to do Home Collective first just so we could get more comfort in each dome so that we don't get any more renegades. And then orbital engineering is the space elevator. And then after that, I got some other miscellaneous ones, but then I want to try to build a mega dome as well. So I've, I'm going to research that as my fifth thing here. Maybe I should actually do that first. It's 9,000 research. Hmm, because we do need more people. Probably need more science going on. Because more science means more re research. We are kind of low on polymers and electronics at the moment. So I might have to do some more importing here. We're low on oxygen because of the dust storm. All our uh, vaporators are offline. I've been building Stirling en engines to try to replace all our wind turbines because these things, Stirling engines don't require any maintenance, which is pretty awesome. So we're, we have a surplus right now. I'm going to... Actually, and batteries too, I'm trying to get rid of and replace with these uh, accumulators. The accumulators are just way more efficient. Let's get rid of some wind turbines here. Don't want to get rid of too many at once though. You can control click to kind of delete all the stuff that you've just dismantled. So to replace that, I'm going to have to put in some sterling generators. We'll try to keep positive on the energy as we get rid of all these. And I'm doing it because these wind turbines require maintenance, whereas sterling generators don't. Even though they're more expensive to build, they require polymers and stuff. They, they are going to be better in the long term. I kind of want to go big with this base, if it's possible. Build a lot of domes. Go for maybe... Maybe 5,000 population or something crazy like that. We'll see how it goes. But we need, uh, we need more people. Oh, I think our shuttle is ready to go, so maybe I'll lift off, get some more supplies. Oh. Never mind, there's a dust storm going on. We'll lift off in seven hours. Okay, the windstorm's over, but the uh, cold wave is coming in. And we're low on polymers, so I'm going to import some polymers. Now, there's 70 million each if you use a rocket, but if you get the space elevator, they come down to 35 million. So that's going to save us a ton of money if we can get that space elevator up. So right after Home Comfort, or Home Collective, I'll do uh, Orbital Engineering. Our research is going to be a bit slow here. We need more science institutes. I might try to put one in this uh, third dome that we put in. Do I have any room? I don't really have room for it. I might have to build another medium-sized dome before we start building uh, mega domes. But I need a place to put it. I could put it here. We got a cold wave going on right now, so it's giving us a warning, but actually it's uneven here. Oh, we could put it right here, but it's going to be overlapping that metal. 
which isn't a huge deal. What kind of quality is this? Very low. Yeah, we could put a medium dome right here. I mean, a mega dome wouldn't fit there anyway. And it's really close to our other stuff. I think I'll do it. I think I'll put that in. So it's going to need water hookup, cable. And I've been building my domes like this with water storage really close, oxygen storage, power generation, moxies. I, I want all that stuff right by the dome. So if, let's say, this connection got severed here, we want to be kind of self sufficient for each dome. That's the plan. This is going to need a lot of polymers. we got to land our rocket, get the polymers off there. Keep that rocket going back and forth. Because we have a lot of rare metals that we have to sell. Let's see here. we got 724 rare metals we have to sell. And we, this moho mine keeps popping them out. More wind turbines we can get rid of. Put in a Sterling engine. The Renegade trick didn't work. So even though we filtered them out, we still have 10 Renegades in here. So the other suggestion was make a dome that has a sanatorium and allow the Renegades to go in there and hopefully they'll get cured. So the sanatorium, I don't think I have researched yet. But I'll... Uh, or maybe I do. Let's see here. No, it's right here. Treats calling us to remove their flaws. So we'll try to get that researched as well. I think I'm going to put a lot of research in this new dome that we're building. That should help us power through a bunch of this stuff. Okay, there goes the cold wave. We're actually losing a lot of power from that. But the dome is going up. And I'm putting oxygen storage right by it here. Now, the Mohole mine also warms up the area around it. See this? So if we put some water storage in around here, I think it would stay warm during this uh, cold wave. So I just have to lead a line over there something like this maybe around like this and then hang water storage off this on the inside I think they would stay warm let's see oh that's too close I think it'll work right there it looks warm there we'll see Oh, well, we got our home collective done. So that means we can upgrade all these uh, buildings. We'll get an extra 10 service comfort, cost five polymers. Let's just, I'm gonna control click so it just does every single one. I think it does every single one on the map. So let's just see. Yeah, so they'll all get upgraded. We're gonna run out of polymers here. So I'm gonna ship some more polymers in. And we do have a polymer factory right here. I, I have triple shift and double work effort or whatever it's called, workload. So we're, we're making as many polymers as we possibly can. We could put another building in, but for now it seems to be keeping up if I look at the polymer here. We're producing 13 and our maintenance is about five. So we're net positive, slowly growing. Now, yeah, this water is filling up and it's not frozen, so this mohole mine acts as a big giant heater as well. Very handy. So we'll put a bunch of water towers in there. Now it overlaps this concrete, but that's okay. I think we'll be fine for concrete. So I got my uh, subsurface heater here. And I've kind of expanded the range. You can maximize the surface 
service area. Uh, it uses more t uh, power the bigger it is. So I'm just putting my water tanks in here. I took this one down here. That way it'll stay warm during the cold waves and not freeze. And when these things freeze, they take a lot of damage. So I'll probably get rid of the all the ones that aren't in a warm spot. So I put a bunch over here by the Mohole Mine. I'll put some more in. That'll stay nice and warm. And then these ones that are kind of outside there, I'll probably get rid of. I hope when you destroy these things, the water kind of flows back into the system, but I, I'm not, I don't think it does. The metal's really stacking up here. Rare metals and metal. Had to build more storage. This thing is just a beast. I love it. We do need more power though. And we're low on electronics. So I'm gonna launch the rocket back up and we'll buy some electronics and probably some polymers. This new dome is ready to go. We just need to build a bit more power before we turn it on. And I'll probably plan out some things inside. Probably want a couple farms. I find two farms is enough for a mega dome full of apartments. So two farms should be enough to cover this dome. One might even be good enough. Oh, we got super crops actually. I'm going to cancel this one. We're gonna to try to just do it with one farm because we got super corn, giant corn, which gives you a hundred food. Look at this thing, a hundred food every five souls. Regular corn is 65, and it is pretty water hungry, but pretty amazing crop. And it does degrade the soil, but we're growing fruit trees on either side, so the soil stays at 100. And we could even increase the workload so we get even more food. And we got food stockpiling outside here, so that's good. That'll enable these guys to, if they run out of food, they can come out here and just eat this too. So we'll turn that off till we're ready for it. Save the water as well. Let's set up our crops. We're gonna do fruit trees, all fruit trees until the soil's at 100. And then we'll put some giant corn in there as well. And we want all the comfort buildings. So we're gonna do a grocer, a diner, make sure I do this right. And infirmary. And then some outdoor spaces. I usually do uh, kind of a whole triangle of uh, decorations, they're called. But these things are good because they give them uh, re relaxation, exercise, and playing. So it's pretty good. And they don't require maintenance, I don't think. And if they do, it's only concrete. So we got that. What else do we want? Um, maybe a casino. We want more science. So I'll probably put a science institute in there. Probably put a university in there. I might put the sanatorium in here once I get it. We got 10 buildings not working. What's going on there? Uh, oh yeah, because we're out of electronics, I think. Or almost out. 31. We actually can't have this offline. This is really bad. Where are our, all our electronics? They might be kind of off the main map from some salvaging I did of uh, rovers earlier. Yeah, I don't see them anywhere. So our, car our cargo rocket is ready to go, so let's do all electronics. Electronics are really expensive. It'll be really good once we get that uh, space elevator in. It's, uh, it's about halfway. Oh, 
probably safe to get some people in here. Yeah, I think I'll build some apartments. And we'll turn this sucker on. Turn on all the service buildings. And we're going to need more sterling engines. Oh, we're running out of electronics everywhere. Okay, once the rocket's in, though, we'll be okay for electronics. Oxygen shortage. Okay, we'll probably want another moxie for this uh, dome. Or two, maybe. Moxie, yeah, we'll stick that in right there. Building's not working 20, 21. Oh my gosh. Why so many? Yeah, it's all electronics related. Oh, actually not that one. This is machine parts. Oh, but because all the drone hubs are down. Okay, we really need to land this rocket here. And then they'll go nuts repairing everything. Here she comes. Oh, our drone hub's offline. <laughs> Hopefully they fix the drone hub first. Go, boy, go. Where's he going? Yeah, he's smart. Actually, I have, I have all the drone hubs set as high priority. Or at least that one. That way, yeah, I have them all set as high. That way they fix those first so everything can get going again. So that'll fix those 21 buildings, I hope. And people should start coming into this dome once the apartment's built. Polymers. Uh, yeah, we're good for polymers. I don't understand how we have a water shortage. We have a lot of water coming in. Oh, yeah, this should be fine. Oh, it's not upgraded, though. Let's upgrade that one. Oh, this one, it's not working because of the waste rock. Okay. Need a couple dumping sites here. And I like to put concrete storage right by the dumping site. That way the drones can turn it into concrete right away. But this drone hub's offline, so once they come and fix it, everything should be good again. If they can fix it. We might have to manually bring some electronics up here just to speed this along. I'll go grab a big stack of them. Okay, where's that electronics? Some here. We're going to have to bring in another whole shipment of them, though. It's not going to be enough. Okay, we're going to take most of those, not all of them. Take those back over there, and we should be good. Things should get repaired. What about the lower part of the base? How's it doing? Not good. <laughs> I'll have to manually bring some electronics over there as well. So there they go, and they're repairing everything. Got the drone hub back online. This area is a bit starved of metal. So I think I'm gonna go grab some metal. We wanna get more shuttle hubs going. I've been doing shuttle hub, hub upgrades to try to make our logistics network work a bit better. Look at all this juicy, shiny, delicious metal. Something very pleasing about giant stacks of metal. Now in actual reality, I don't think they'd ship precious metals back to Earth. I think it would cost too much money. Okay, we're gone. We're out of electronics again. One more cargo rocket full. 
I'll probably build a cargo, I mean, a electronics factory in my new dome as well. Drop off this metal. Okay, we got this dome kind of up and going. And I think I'm going to put a science center in here. We want to keep, make sure their comfort stays high though. They want gaming and shopping. Maybe we need a casino. Let's see here. Casino is gaming, gambling, luxury, social. I think I'll put a casino in there as well. Casino, science center. I put a university in uh, our other science dome. I think I'll put one here too. That way we get like all the scientists we need. So we'll do casino and I'll probably do the uh, science institute as well. And I'm holding off putting a building in a spire in because I'm going to put a sanatorium in here. And we'll only allow renegades here and then they should all migrate. Building more power as well as we go. Low on, chronically low on electronics. Maybe I'll up the shifts in here. We got a, uh, we only have two shifts on. They're all untrained, or most of them are. We got a scientist, not, not good. But you kind of have to put a university in every dome that you want people retrained in, which is a big drag. But we could optimize some stuff here. Here, we could put a giant corn in. The soil quality should be at 100 because we've had fruit trees in two of the cycles, but for some reason it's not. Now, the soil quality, from what I've read, it reduces reduces the chances of a crop failing. Let's uh, triple shift high workload these guys. Need lots of circuits. And I think I was missing the home comfort thing for this apartment building. Yeah, home collective. So I'll get these built and probably put in some more housing. I didn't even notice this uh, research here before. Research amplification. Research labs, science institutes, and the network node increases production by 25%. So I'm actually going to do that um, before these other two. Now there's a way to reorder these and I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> Let me know if you know. I've seen some people uh, kind of push things to the front here. So I'll do that next. Uh, I was going to do maximum shuttles. That'll help us, but I want to get that sanatorium done as well. Where was that? Maybe I've already done it. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Maybe I have it. Oh no, there it is. So I'll do that after... And this empath one looks pretty good as well. And the strode drone recharging, but these are expensive. I want to get this thing first because it increases our research. Got a rocket coming in with electronics. That's going to help. Oh, we got a dust storm. Now what's wrong with this? This looks like it's hooked up. Maybe it's not? sure what's going on there. Oh, what? It's not connected. Okay, that's a problem. We'll, uh, we'll connect it. <laughs> so our moxie's been offline all this time. Not good. Oh, and we completed the research for the space elevator. So let's see what it takes to build that sucker. 150 machine parts we have. 150 polymers were close. 200 metal we got. 400 concrete. Hey, I might as well just like start building that. Yeah, where should we put this? Could put it down by our other wonder here. 
That way it's actually really close to the rare metals. I think I will put it right here. Yeah, because the rare metals are going to be exported a lot. It is somewhat central. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll stick it down here. We could probably fit a nice dome in there, but... Yeah, let's put it right there. I'm going to make that a low-priority build. They can just kind of work on it as they go. That was the that's the goal of this episode, get that puppy up and running. That'll save us a ton of money. That's the goal. Okay, I, di I didn't know this before, but uh, let's say you're building something big like a space elevator here and it's like sucking up all your polymers, which was happening to me. You can actually turn it off and it'll turn the construction of the building off. It doesn't delete it, it just kind of pauses it. And I didn't know that until recently. It's a huge help. Huge, huge help. So I'll pause it until we kind of get caught up with uh, polymers, and then uh, I'll resume it. We could also probably pre-position some... What does this need? Machine parts. I'm going to get our transport and get some machine parts over that way. Got a bunch here we could grab. <laughs> And I really want to get more cargo drones because that's going to speed up the flow of all these repairs and help everything out. Okay, let's take these machine parts down this way. Just dump them on the ground here. That way they can get, get building this a bit faster. We do have quite a few machine parts, but polymers, polymers is the issue and they're unloading I just bought a bunch, so we'll do a few round trips with the rocket. Get the polymers pre-positioned. Get some concrete pre-positioned. That's kind of boring, just shifting things back and forth, so I'll probably skip ahead. Okay, we got a cold wave coming in, and I've got this amplify research amplification done. So we're going to upgrade the science center. We're getting 50% production. It takes more power, but it's definitely worth it. So we're going to do that in our other science centers up here. What does it cost? Five polymers. We're going to have to build more power to kind of keep up with that, but it's totally worth it. So our research right now, 1551. So I'll check back when, uh, when we get all these things upgraded and see what it's like. And the next thing in the slot is our sanatorium. Uh, which will be good. We can get rid of all those renegades, hopefully. This uh, new dome that I put up, this will be the uh, sanatorium dome. I wanted to put a research spire in here to boost the research, but better to cure all our renegades first. Okay, we got a cold wave going on for another three days, and we have a meteor storm coming in in two days. So things could get a little bit rough here, folks. Especially if the uh, meteor storm hits our base. Because we don't have a lot of extra capacity. So if a lot of power gets uh, knocked out, actually we're negative for power right now. I'm going to build some more sterling generators. Now I should be spacing them out more, but I put this uh, space elevator on pause again because it was eating all our polymers. I pre-positioned a bunch of concrete, so when we're ready to build it, it should go pretty fast. I just hope this storm doesn't kick our ass. If it lands on your base, it can really, really destroy a lot of stuff because it can last two days. And if it takes out your uh, drone hubs, it can get really, really icky. We only have 33 polymers. Uh, I'm going to buy some more polymers so that we, we're ready to go. Now our water, look at this, our nice hot water here. These are our hot water heaters. 
This is working well. Oh, I might even put some more in there. Pipe leak reported. Stick a water tower here. Will that work right there? Yeah. Might as well build a bunch. It'll stay nice and warm there. Power shortage. Domes of the power. What the heck? Okay. Why did I lose power all of a sudden? This happens during cold waves and I don't know why. Because it doesn't seem to affect... Okay, let's turn the fuel off. Don't need that during this. That'll save some power. Let's turn the factory off. It's a huge power drain. Okay, how are we doing? Minus 120. Electronics factory can go offline. Pause that. We don't even need this rare metals extractor on. Actually, this was doing hardly anything because the resource is gone. This is actually kind of, I'll just turn that off. Domes without power, no, still. That's terrible, what's going on here? Maybe the, uh, no, the wind turbines are working. Oh, actually, the wind turbines might be not working as efficiently as normal. Maybe that's why. Okay, we gotta turn more stuff off. Okay. What are the big power hogs? Are science centers big power hogs? Uh, 35. Oh, yeah. Turn that off. Turn the other science centers off. I was gonna show you that research was way higher after those upgrades, but I'll have to show you after the cold wave is over. Turn that off, turn that off. Okay, minus 71. Still not good enough. Fuel refinery, off. Fuel refineries, off, off. Okay. That'll work for now. Still negative. And we got a rocket coming in with polymers that will allow us to build some more sterling generators. But we got that meteor storm one day. Okay, the meteor storm started. And we're lucky once again. It's hitting over here. Near the bottom. It's avoiding our base. We were extremely lucky. But I am researching... Uh, meteor defense system these lasers that shoot meters out of the sky so once that's done we'll put some meteors in and the cold wave is almost over oh this explodes an anomaly interesting okay that's good I'll turn everything back on once this cold wave is done Okay, we're uh, back to peaceful times. There's no uh, cold wave, no meteor storm. And we finished that sanatorium research, so I'm going to put that in here. And this will be where we take all our renegades and fix them up. And there's another research I'm doing called uh, behavioral melding, which turns flaws into random perks. So that'll be awesome. That's an upgrade for the sanatorium. So I might actually filter out all the bad traits out of all the domes and allow them here, prefer them here, and that way we'll cure everyone. Or that's the idea at least. The soil quality is going up really slow so I'm going to probably do some cover crops. We're good for food, there's a big food stockpile. We're producing 241 and we're consuming 69, if that's accurate. That's kind of crazy, actually. We could probably remove a crop from here and be okay, but... Oh yeah, I kind of wanted to put a university in here as well. But let's check our research rate now. 2400. That was after this upgrade. Um, amplify. We could probably put another one in here. If we put a university in here, we're going to get a bunch of scientists made, which will boost this up. Oh, 
wonder if we could tear this one down. People are still retraining in here, so. Now I don't know if they uh So it says they need it says they need 14 botanists. So maybe people come in from outside. Because we don't need 14 botanists to keep these two things going. We already have some botanists. So yeah, maybe they come to the dome to train and then leave. I'm not really sure. Not quite sure. Are rockets ready to lift off? How's the sanatorium doing? Almost done. So let's put a filter on this dome. We'll say... Uh, not perks, but uh, flaws. We'll accept all flaws. <laughs> this will be a very dysfunctional building. Now we're going to need more housing. We should actually also filter... I don't know if this will work, but... Uh, all uh, perks. I wonder if we can downvote them. Hmm. This might be a dangerous move. We'll see how that goes. But we do need more uh, housing in here, so... Oh, there goes the sanatorium. Our first. Nice. So we're going to get rid of the traits gambler, alcoholic, and glutton. Actually, we want to get rid of renegade if it's... No, it's not an option. Not quite sure that'll work. Let's get a triple shift, or at least a double shift on that. That should work nicely. Now, what happens if we boost this? We we need scientists in here, so we need a we need a university in here, I think. Or maybe I'll just keep an eye on this university. It says we need twenty three scientists. I wonder what this guy is retraining to become. Let me know in a comment if you think one is good enough or whether we need one in each dome. I, I've i kind of read that you need one in each dome, but it, it wouldn't make sense if the needed specializations was 14 botanists, because we don't need 14 botanists in this dome. Research complete. Okay, we got that meteor defense system. I've never built one of those before. Actually, that's not true. I did build one once. Maintenance is electronics. Has a short cooldown between shots. I guess we'll put one by our dome here. And hopefully that can cover these two domes. I think we're still needing more power. I want to get rid of these wind turbines. And replace them. Sterling generators. Yeah, getting rid of all that wind power. Because it's eating all our machine parts. The Sterling generator, I think it's a little bit overpowered that it doesn't require maintenance. Because in the late game, like I built a colony with over. 8,000 colonists on my other save. I'm trying to get to 10,000. I'll probably do a video of me building up to 10,000. I think I'm at 30 domes now so far. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. The game gets really lag, laggy at that point. But, uh... What was I trying to say? Yeah, maintenance becomes the big issue. Because everything requires maintenance. Except for these turning generators. That's why I want to also build or research these trielectric... Or is it this thing? Triboelectric scrubbing. This thing's pretty awesome. Keeps dust off all your equipment and reduces the uh, need for maintenance. Now, I don't know if it actually fixes itself, but it's definitely a good piece of equipment. I might actually do that next. Let's see. Oh no, rejuvenation treatment, improved service comfort, for infirmary and medical center. I think I'll do that next. 
And what's this one? Increases birth rate. I don't know if we want that just yet. Water usage, don't care as much. We'll do that eventually. The empath trait. Raise the morale of all colonists. I'm going to get this. This sounds pretty sweet. So those are our next three. Oh, I wanted to do the shuttle hub one first. That'll speed up kind of building and maintenance on everything. This building construction cost one is also nice, but we have lots of metal and we have lots of concrete, so... Until we start really expanding, like building like 10, 20 megadomes, I will wait, hold off on that one. Okay, we got a hundred spare polymers. So I'm gonna turn the construction of this thing back on. It's gonna require a bunch of concrete, quite a bit of metal and machine parts, but we have it all. So this is gonna save us money as I keep saying. Got a dust storm coming in, in one soul. But we do have spare, we got, yeah, we can spare the 50. Now I wonder if dust storms affect the space elevator. I would suspect they don't. That's yet another advantage of this uh, wonderful building. Hey, it's a wonder. Like we can put the priority up too as well. Building's not working. What's not working? This needs electronics. Now I'm keeping this metal refinery around even though it requires maintenance because in the late game, because of the nano refinement, this thing can produce metal forever. And we might turn it back on. I don't know. We also have this one here. That's can use another shift, I think. We don't need to upgrade it, I don't think. Actually, 25% for two polymers. Oh, we might as well upgrade it. We're like swimming in metal, but... Okay, we got more money. Let's buy some more. Or maybe I should hold off. I'm gonna hold off. Actually, we're not gonna be able to land soon, so maybe I should get some... I'll get, I'll, I'll get electronics. This will be our, hopefully our last cargo shuttle before we start using the uh, space elevator. Okay, electronics. Okay, so that that's 800 million, okay. So that should come down to 400 million. How's the research going? Behavioral melding, this one's gonna be awesome. Get a bunch of perks. And then this is just for more comfort. And then the shuttles, an extra four shuttles will be really used, useful for logistics and stuff. Look at our little buggers go. Loading that concrete. We're almost there. We're almost there. We just need more concrete. This guy's bringing concrete over on an automated shift. That's probably enough, actually. Yep. He can stop. He can stop his little traversal there. Here it goes, I think. Construction underway there's only one poor drone working on it okay here they come that should speed things up feel the power of the space elevator this one's a game changer all the wonders are a game changer still under dust storm so our water Water is a little bit offline, or oxygen's offline, but we got lots stored away, so we're okay. Come back and work on it. So close. Now this thing... We should probably put a lot of our storages out here. Oh, it's done! Oh, it has no power. Uh -huh. We're kind of low on power right now, actually. And we got a shuttle ready for liftoff. Maybe we'll be bringing in some people soon. Okay, let's hook this puppy up. But we need more power first. Sterling generator. 
Okay, we got a power surplus at the moment. Let's just get this thing going. So we need a cable. I'll probably just take a cable from this dome. Like that. And what will our first import be? Polymers. <laughs> and we can automatically sell rare metals. We've got 999. Whoa, it's up and running. Okay. Oh, it's automatically doing it. Okay. Let's call in some polymers. Space elevator. Polymers. Yeah, 35 million instead of 70. Oh, we have no money. <laughs> we gotta wait. For, we gotta wait for the uh, rare metals to export. It'll be much faster to export them now, though. Oh, I think it already sh it already lifted off. Look at that. 960. Boom. Done. That's fast. Let's put some storage here for polymers. Or do we want it here? Yeah. We'll put a bunch of storage here. For things we might import. Let's try that again. That's fun. Okay, 900 million. Polymers. Look how many we can buy now. Yay. Maybe we should get our rare metal thing back online. That's generating... Oh, that one's not depleted. That's why it's generating a decent amount. Okay. We want to disable that rare metals thing at some point. Otherwise, we won't have any rare metal for electronics production. And in here, I want to... How are we doing overall for population? Let's see. Unemployed 32, homeless 19. Okay, we could use another apartment building in here. What else do we want in here? Oh, we can do that sanatorium upgrade now. That's the one that gives perks. That'll be good. What do people want in this dome? What are they what are they after? Drinking, shopping. Actually, pretty people are pretty, pretty happy. Oh, there we go. Gambling. We have a casino. I think people are generally happy. Oh, we don't have the comfort home collective thing on there. Maybe a university. That'll give, I don't know if that's considered jobs. Like are these actually employed people while they're in university? I don't know. But uh, yeah, let's put it in a university. We can always tear it down later. So we got that, we got the casino. Could put it in a sports bar. Shopping, relaxation. Hmm. Or we could put another science institute in. We got this collaboration loss thing. I think for every science center in the whole base, you get this negative thing. So maybe we want to not build any more of these. Look at them doing their science. Their sciencey science stuff. They just look at this globe and magically they learn things. I wonder if this is supposed to be a telescope. Things are going smoothly. That's when a giant meteor storm comes in. Oh yeah, that reminds me. I was going to build another laser down here to protect, protect this area. MDS laser. Let's stick that right between the two domes. The domes are the things we want to protect the most. I think the cash is rolling in now. They only have to move the rare metals from here to here for all the exporting. Very nice. Very nice. Now I hate how it adds all these people to the taskbar automatically. 
I think it puts people who have a good trait like genius and I haven't I added a hotkey to remove them though because we don't I, I have no idea why they added this feature maybe to spread people out who had great great uh, traits I'm not sure But we did get that space elevator in. That was my main goal of the episode. And we're getting, it's getting pretty long. Oh, I gotta hook up that laser. Let's just quickly do that. Oh. That was kind of a bad cabling job. Oh well. So that's done. Up, off camera, I'll probably replace the rest of these wind turbines with uh, Sterling engines. And I wanna get a mega dome done next time. Or maybe another wonder. Let's see what wonders we have left. We got uh, the Omega Telescope. That gives us new research and stuff, but I don't think there's any research left to tell you the truth. Because when I look at the breakthroughs down here, there's only space for one. So I don't know if that's gonna actually help us. Um, there's a, a few other ones that could be useful. Where is it? The, oh yeah, the microfusion. This will give us a thousand electricity and it only requires a bunch of water to start up and then it it's pretty good after that. So that I might do next. That's kind of a really good power source. This Project Morpheus is also really good. It gives uh, new adults perks. The uh, excavator, it's cool. It's like unlimited concrete. We don't really need that just yet. Oh, the Geoscape Dome, I want to do at some point. Lots of stuff still to do. Probably do a Wonder or a Mega Dome next episode, or both. So, hope you enjoyed that. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.